hello guys welcome to a vlog sorry i look like this <laughs> just um got back from the gym and this is the vlog that is contains a sponsorship with organic basics um i'm just going to talk about the first piece now because it's some gym leggings to have just worn at the gym i've started seeing a personal trainer again a new one because my um old on friend she had a baby She's very lovely. So I have a new one. Um, oh God, can't walk. Um, who is really good, but it's hard. It's like after, because normally what I do in the gym or what I have always done is weight training stuff. And obviously all through this year, I don't have a fully kitted, stocked out gym at home. Um, so I haven't been doing anything that's like considerable weight lifting. Not that I'm that strong at all, but going back to it, it is killing me. Anyway, I'm just going to show you these leggings. So I did talk about organic basics quite a bit when I did testing basics because I bought an underwear set from them and featured them in that video. And the thing, the thing they need to be most understood for is that they are a brand taking sustainability so incredibly seriously. They offer a full report online for everybody to go and see. It's on the homepage of their website. They even offer a website which um, is like a low emissions website. So you get drawings of the um, products instead of photos. So that the way that the data is being used is also more sustainable. So there are many levels to how they are tackling the issue of sustainability, which is definitely the way brands need to be doing it. So I'm really excited to be working with them. They're primarily a brand that stock underwear, loungewear, gym wear. Um, I've already talked about their underwear, like I said, I will link that testing basics. I don't want to repeat my myself too much because we did talk about it such a lot in that video. So I'll link that video in the description box. Um, and for now, talk about other pieces a little bit more, like these gym leggings. <laughs> um, so the only criticism I have of these is that they're a tiny bit short for me. Um, as you can see, I mean, I always tend to wear long socks at the gym. I'm really not a stylish gym goer most of the time. Um, but if I pull my socks down a bit, you can see that they're quite um, quite a bit shorter than other leggings might be. So bear in mind, I'm five foot eight and more, all, all of my heights in my legs, I'm normally like a leg 32. So for lots of people, this won't be an issue at all, but I did want to point it out for us taller ladies. Um, but they are so, so, so flattering. They just have a really nice waistband here with really subtle branding. I'm not a fan, as you can imagine, of leggings with everything going all over down the legs. Just want really, really plain ones. So the, this has a really nice subtle bit of branding there. Um, it's got like a ribbed effect down the side. You can see a bit better if I do this. Just down one side here and then it's just plain in the middle. Um, and they're really, really nice. They're not see-through or anything. I've just been doing all sorts of squatting and things. And they're not see-through. Um, and yeah, they're just really, really flattering. They're not too high-waisted. Here, I've just got a sports bra on. So you can kind of see how much how much torso is on show in between there. Um, but yeah, I've been worked out in them and they're really comfortable. I feel like actually for leggings, you need to exercise in them before you can comment on them. Um, but yeah, they were really, really comfy. It's only the length, which for me um, is the only drawback of these, but I've just got my, I've just got a pair of black socks on and met the gap there. Um, but for other people as well, you might not be bothered about the length of your leggings in that way and for most people people of average height definitely wouldn't be an issue at all but i did want to mention it um so these are the leggings i'm actually going to take them off now because i'm going to have a shower um and make myself a coffee i'm really tired um and then check in with you later i went to boots yesterday and spent 85 pounds in boots i was fuming so i'm going to show you what i bought I did buy like quite a few bits of Aven skincare, so that is why. But £85 in boots, not happy. Right, I'm clean and showered. Well, I didn't wash my hair, as you can tell. I'm going to have to do something with my fringe, which is very weird. Um, yeah, so boots. I bought some 
oh dear, what, what, what's happening? I bought a new body lotion. I like ones with no fragrance. The only one that I do like with fragrance is the L'Occitane one. Uh, but I just got this Embrelease one. Um, so that was the first thing. And then I bought a face wash. My old favourite again. I was sent this one by CeraVe, which is the cream to foam cleanser. But I don't really like it. It just feels a bit too harsh for my skin with it being foamy. And I don't like how it leaves my skin feeling. So I've gone back to my favourite one from La Roche-Posay. Um, I also bought a new face mask from Aven, the Redness Relief Soothing Mask, which I love. And just my skin really responds well to. And also a moisturiser from them again, um, which has SPF 30 in it. I've been using my Unreleased Moisturiser with them with an SPF over it. Um, which was fine, but I just kind of, it's nice having it all together sometimes. Um, my next door neighbour who has her TV so loud, she's taking it to new levels. So I've bought, bought two packs of earplugs for on the evenings where she has to watch the news at 11pm at just earth shattering volumes. I bought those and I bought some hand sanitizer and I bought some toothpaste and that came to £86 which obviously I guess all of those like French beauty brands like 15, 20 quid a pop, but bloody hell. Anyway, at least I've got a good stock up now for the next few months. And I'm actually gonna give my face a good wash, then get dressed and then have something to eat for lunch and stuff. So my all time favorite comfort food is toast and toast with different flavors. So I've just got butter which I start with my entry, entry level toast and then marmite which I have as my savoury toast and then I wanted marmalade but I just opened it and it was mouldy <laughs> so I've got honey instead but this is what I call a toast party and it's one of my favourite ways to start a day if I'm not particularly caring about being that healthy. Finished my little toast party I'm just gonna get ready to go out to the shops Simon's coming over for dinner. I've got a cookbook called The Essentials of Italian Cooking and I'm going to make an Italian feast as best I can. So I'm gonna to go to the shops next and I need to be presentable. Um, because some of you might notice I haven't got my big black signet ring on. I have the tiniest cut on my finger there and it's exactly where the ring ends. So it was just driving me mental. So I've taken it off. It took me, I had to take it off with like loads of hand cream because it's so tight. Um, but I actually quite like how it looks having less on my hands. I'm quite enjoying that. Um, I bought this concealer the other day because I needed a new one. I am just on the never ending quest for a favorite concealer. I think I find it, like I used to love the Glossier one and then it just now doesn't work for me. This one's by Becca called the Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer. I just bought it at Space NK. Um, not much to say about it really. It's fine. It's not the one. <laughs> um, should I just dribble it down? <laughs> no. So yeah, I'm gonna have the day cooking. I've nearly finished a book that I've really been enjoying called Love and Other Thought Experiments. I want to say the author's name is Sophie Ward, but I might be wrong. I'll show you it though, it's downstairs. Um, I'm about 40 pages off the end of that, so I might sit and finish that um, before I head out. And I have loved it. It's such a me kind of a book. Um, it is, um, we'll talk about it more when I've fully finished it because it's kind of just taken an interesting twist of turn. So I'm not entirely sure where it's gonna end up, but um, I've just enjoyed it so, so much. And it's been a nice, well, it's not a light read, but I don't know. I've just really loved it. So I'm going to finish that today as well. Um, did I say it's Saturday? I don't know whether I did. That's why I'm not really doing any work. Um, but that is all I've sort of got to update you on for now. I will show you the book next. Guys, this is the book. I've just finished it and it has blown my mind. It is so good. I enjoyed it so much. I didn't expect it to go where it went. I did not 
I didn't expect it. And there was one, I think it's, what, is it 10 chapters in total? Yeah, 10. Chapter nine in particular, I was like, so good, so, so, so good. Really, really enjoyed it. And it was Sophie Ward. I got that right from my memory. Well done, me. Um, yeah, I very much recommend this. I'm not gonna say much of what it's about because I don't really know how to, if I'm honest. The premise of the story is, well, I'll just tell you how it begins, which is kind of pretty much, which is on the blurb as well, because I don't actually know how to talk about this without potentially ruining it. Um, but it begins with a couple, Rachel and Eliza, who are um, sort of at the point in their relationship where they're deciding whether or not to start a family, for which Rachel is far more keen to do than Eliza. And um, Rachel has this, along, alongside this conversation that they're having, this, this moment where um, Rachel is kind of, paranoid on and convinced that there are ants in on her side of the bed in the place that they're living and then one night one of the ants crawls into her eye and then lives in her brain and the story then sort of unravels as she is living with this presence in her brain which is the ant and they elizabeth and eliza and rachel like Eliza chooses to believe, even though Eliza is a scientist and so he's very pragmatic and kind of is thinking, no, an ant cannot crawl into your eye and live in your brain. But it, she decides to believe Rachel, which is like a symbolic moment in their relationship where they do go on to decide to have a family. Um, and then you follow some other stories and then it all links together nicely at the end, but links together in the most remarkable way. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, I just, while I'm sat here, remembered I need to go pick up a parcel from the corner shop. So I'm gonna get that done and then I'm gonna come back and talk to you about what I'm gonna cook this evening. And we're gonna start cooking and prepping because I'm doing this properly. So there's some serious cooking going on. Okay, that was not a successful trip out to the corn shop, it was shut. Anyway, um, I've gotten changed into comfies because I'm going to start cooking and I just, I'm preparing to make a mess and it not be a particularly relaxing experience for me. But that leads me on to my next piece from Organic Basics, which are these little shorts with an elasticated waistband, again, very subtle, organic basics branding on that waistband which you probably can't even see on the camera and they're just a cotton really lightweight comfy short i've been wearing these around the house such a lot because just because they're just so comfy and also elasticated and all the things we need when we're at home um i've got them in a small um when i did testing basics i said to rec i recommended sizing down in the knickers um whereas for these this small is perfect so um, yeah, I would say go recommend going true to size in these ones. Um, and yes, they're just a really, really, really good comfy around the house piece. I've got one with some sexy white socks. It's a strong look and I'm anticipating getting hot and bothered while cooking because I don't find it relaxing. It's just gonna, it's just gonna make me hot and bothered basically. Um, but yeah, this is the second piece from Organic Basics and they have pockets which is a very handy around the house feature. I bought myself something today on Columbia Road when I was walking back from the shops. This vase, which is, I'm gonna use as a water jug. It's called a glugging vase. And apparently when you pour water out of it, it goes glug, 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 which is why it's called that. Just saw it on a nice shop on there and thought, God, that's awful, I love it. It really is awful, isn't it? It's so ugly, but I really like it. This area is looking quite nice and busy now, so that's good. And then let us review the cooking. So I am cooking from this cookbook, The Essentials of Italian Cooking. I'm going to do aubergine and ricotta sauce, Sicilian style, with a tomato and garlic um, side lard yeah 
garlic scented tomato salad. I'm sure it's garlic tasting as well as scented. And also just some warm vegetable salad. Mixed cooked vegetables, that was it. So I'm attempting a main and two sides, which is quite stressful. I have all the things here that I need. And I'm going to begin with the aubergine, which requires quite in-depth preparation. I might do it as a post. It feels worthy. I mean, it is worthy, darling. Oh my God. Hello guys, it's now Monday morning. I just got back in from the gym again. Let me just pop you down actually. Um, yeah, it killed me, oh, so hard. Also, I've been sleeping. Sorry, I'm changing the bed today, which is why it's not been made. I've not been sleeping, so I'm just um, feeling like I'm jet lagged basically. But I want to show you another organics basics piece, which is this top. I've got the leggings on again. Um, like I said, I've just done a workout in them. I washed them over the weekend and they washed really well. They're exactly the same. I feel like a washing test is very important with gym leggings because you do end up washing them a lot. But this is such a nice tank top. It's quite stretchy. I don't know how to best show you the material, but it's quite a stretchy fabric and quite lightweight. So it fits really, really, really nicely. Um, and it's just such a good workout top. I struggle finding tops and sometimes I feel okay working out in just, oh, just scratch my face, um, in a sports bra and the leggings. But other times I do prefer to have a top on. Like I just, this is really weird, but when you have a personal trainer, they'll often have to um, sometimes like touch your back, especially, or like reposition you slightly. And sometimes I feel really weird if it's not arms, like I don't mind someone touching my arms, but you know, if it's just skin on your tummy or your back, you're like, oh gosh, I'm not sure about that. Um, so I prefer to wear a t-shirt sometimes for that reason. But this one is just a really, really, really good one. I might order myself a couple more of these. Um, as I'm going to try and keep working out way more consistently than I have been for most of this year. But I really, big thumbs up, I have it in a small as well. Do I have it in a small? Can I confirm? Can we confirm this is a small? Oh. It is a small, confirmed it's a small. And yeah, I'm just going to jump in the shower. Lindsay and I are recording a podcast episode. Um, and I've got like 20 minutes to get myself sorted, so I moustache and do all that. Side. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea to make this miserable day feel better. It is the shittest weather. Um, this jumper I know you're going to ask about is old and other stories, unfortunately, from last winter. But they have, I just looked online, a kind of similar one. It's not, it's not as good, it's not as good, but I will. Pop a link for it, just in case. Um, but yeah, it's not quite as special as this one is. Um, cup of tea time. Guys, I'm in the bath. I don't normally vlog in the bath, um, but I have my laptop here, which is also not something I normally do in the bath. I would normally read, but I just want to watch Shit's Creek and just sit in water and not think about anything for a second my just had just actually haven't had one of those days in a stressful way but just had one of those days where, you know you feel like you're like i'm on sheer overwhelm right now anyway so i have my laptop here and i was just opening google to go onto um netflix and there's a bit at the bottom if you go on your google homepage, and it just said take a look into the life of Artemisia Gentileschi, who was an artist who I studied when I was at uni. And then it gives you this whole page about her. I just wanted to talk about this because I have never, I didn't know Google did this. And there's all of these things that you can read about. This is the, um, this is, if any of you are gonna, I think this is what I would consider to be her most famous painting if people aren't familiar with her um anyway i just wanted to point this out to you all because it's blown my mind and got me distracted from schitt's creek 
in the bath um, because I just didn't know that this was a thing that Google offered. Has this always been here? I've been missing these moments that I could flick through and learn stuff. I'm also interested, is this because there's an exhibition at the National Gallery? In which case, I want to go and see that. Anyway. I'm out of the bath. I've also ordered myself a new vlogging camera this evening because this one, I'm giving up the ghost. Um, so that's exciting. That should come on Thursday. Um, so I booked to go, there is an Artemisia Gentileschi um, exhibition on at the National Gallery until January. I booked tickets, quite booked up, so the first, as soon as I could get was next month, beginning of next month. So I booked that, then I also saw that they have online a like class, an online Zoom class uh, at the end of October with Michael Palin and somebody else whose name I didn't know, probably the kind of name I should know but didn't, um, all about Artemisia Gentileschi. And like I said, I studied at university and I remember enjoying that module. So this is going to be my birthday present from me to me. It's my birthday in just over three weeks. Um, so that's that. Just had a bath, I'm very wrapped up this evening because it's cold and miserable. I've got these um, new, Birkenstocks that are my new round the house shoes. They are hideous, but fabulous. Um, they're just like a felt clog. I will link them in the description box. They're the kind of thing that I, I don't know if I already spoken about these. I've either spoken to you guys already or to a friend and I'm forgetting. But if I've said this already, forgive me, but I'm gonna say it again. They're the kind of shoe that I've bought to wear around the house, but knowing me, they will slowly transition into an out of the house shoe. I keep nipping to the shops in them and I can just see this becoming more of a thing of like nipping to the shops turning into spending every day out of the house in them because they're just so damn comfy. But I got my usual size, I just got them in the slim fitting version which Birkenstock do. Um, and yeah, I really, really like them. While we're on the topic of loungewear, obviously we've been talking about organic basics a lot in this video. And I um, must mention, and this will be in the description box as well, that I have a 10% discount code for you all if you want to order them. Um, and I do really recommend the underwear. I haven't shown you it in this video, but I will link testing basics and I will also link the underwear that I'm referring to in the description box. Um, and yeah, there's gonna be a 10% code down there. Um, so that you can use that if there is anything that you wanted to order from them if you'd felt tempted by it. So, um, yes, don't forget that. But I now am having, have the urge to play Spyro on my PlayStation, but I have to connect the PlayStation to the telly. And I haven't played on a PlayStation in a year because I've lived here for a year now, which is mental. Can you guys believe this has been a whole year? Um, and in the time I've lived here, I haven't played on my PlayStation, I don't think. Oh no, I feel like I must have done. So maybe I'm gonna be really overjoyed and find out it already is plugged in and connected. I just don't think it is. Let's find out, shall we? I've just been sat in the bath thinking, I really wanna plan Spyro, but I really can't be bothered to plug it in. And I've had this thought process so many times. And now I'm thinking, has it been plugged in all along? Oh. Turn the big light on for that and everything was not plugged in, but it is now. Oh, I don't want to update later. Work. Ooh, where's the remote? Where is the remote? Under the cushion, of course it is. Why would it not be under the cushion? Why would you put it anywhere else? Right. Oh, I just clicked update now. No, no, no. No, cancel. Cancel. Yes, we're off Spyro, here we come. Oh, this has definitely been a while. I also, so the three games I have are Spyro, the Reignited Trilogy, Red Dead Redemption, I just got stuck in a shed when I played that, and Crash Bandicoot, insane trilogy, which I just remember being really hard, so I don't know whether I'll bother with that. Oh, oh you really cannot see there. You can kind of, you can kind of get the idea. How exciting. Right, I'll, um, I'll check in with you all later. Why do I look like this? I've played so much Spyro, my eyes are burning. No, what have I started? 
definitely bedtime now and I'm not going to let myself near Spyro again this week I must read and not be a purple dragon um anyway thank you so much for watching this video that's so bright thank you for um organic basics for sponsoring this as well the um the discount code it will be in the description box that was too many words beginning with d for my brain right now um and all the links for everything will be there as well so thank you so much for watching next um video will be on a new camera this is probably fine to you guys but for me the screen's completely upside down for some reason i don't know why i'm looking at myself upside down and it's really confusing um but yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one